Hello friends, it's Hi from Suresh and we are back with another video today. One of my hobbies is studying practical ways on how to be effective in anything and everything you do in life. It could be relationship, traveling, it could be education or it could even be your job. So today I'm going to share 10 practical ways to be a good mom or a great mom. Many times I think I ask these questions to myself why many moms are very easily anxious and you will find that every one every mom wants to be the best for their children that's right for all the mothers out there who want to improve their parenting strategies let me share with you some tips to be a good mom or even the best mom for your precious children so here is the thing i'm not going to explain all of them today in this video rather I'm just going to list all of them in this video but over the next couple of weeks I will be releasing videos explaining them individually so that you become good at it gradually and then slowly. So here is number 10. Be a role model for your children. If you want your kids to grow up as well-mannered and responsible individuals with a lot of integrity then you should better show them how to be one with a lot of integrity. Number nine, allow them to explore. If you want your kids to grow up independent, smart, resourceful and creative, then you should let them explore the world. Let them play as they want, meet new people, let them have summer jobs, let them join field trips and let them go for campaigns. Let them explore what they want. Number eight, Provide ways for them to develop their passion. To help your children reach their highest potentials, you need to support their passion and talents. Number seven, train them to be responsible. As early as possible, you should train your children to be responsible. One way to do this is by teaching and assigning them household works and responsibilities. You should also encourage them to have a study habit and submit their school requirements very much on time. Number six, teach them to be respectful. You don't want your children to grow up impolite, like blindly talking back to those older than them or not even greeting their teachers. You know, good manners start at home. So it is your responsibility to teach them to be courteous and respectful. Let us teach them to honor their parents, seniors and authorities and to respect the beliefs and opinions of others. That's very important. And number five, don't pressure them to achieve something. Yes, it would be great if your kids would always stop their classes and bring home medals. However, not all children are academically inclined. If you pressure them to get perfect scores all the time, they might end up hating school with low self-esteem as a result of failing your expectations. Number four, instill discipline into them. It is important that you make your children understand the need for discipline. Personally, I believe that a little spanking can help kids grow up more responsible. You should also use conditioning to train them up, like giving them a reward for getting good grades at school or not allowing them to play outside unless they have helped clean the house. Those are some disciplinary activities. Number three, Limit their exposure to gadgets. Most kids these days are exposed to cell phones, computers and other gadgets, which can be very harmful to their well-being. This phenomenon is blamed by experts to be one of the culprits of obesity, poor social skills or even mental problems like depression. These, these are some problems among children Z generation. Make time for your kids. That's number two. Whether as a full-time or working mom, you must remember that your main responsibility now is raising your children to become good citizens and reach their highest potential. So no matter how busy you are, you should always set aside time to personally take care of their needs, bond with them regularly and to be present whenever they need you. The most important thing, number one, be healthy. This is the most important of all the 10. Yes. As mothers, you always put the health of your children first. However, come to think of it, if you become sick and 
you know, you, you are not well, how could you take care of your babies? Therefore, as much as you protect the health of your kids, let us not take your own for granted. Let us eat at the right time. Get as much as sleep you can. Be physically active and take multivitamins if at all necessary. Thank you so much for watching this video. We will come up with the detailed videos for each of these items. Please look out for those videos. They are coming out as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching my videos.